you are now the proud father of three. Your yeah. life has changed a lot in the last week. Uh, first question, Caitlin, baby, everybody's happy and healthy. Yeah, everybody's good. Uh, the, everything went smooth at the hospital, smooth at home. Um, one night was a struggle, get some sleep, but other than that, it's been all right, and then I left. So um, it's, it's uh, not too bad. I'll, I'll uh, race this weekend, then go to Arizona where we're at right now and pick them up and, and come back. So uh, look forward to having the whole family here next the, week. The one thing I love about Caitlin and your entire family is how dedicated to racing they are, right? Um, do we feel as though, has Cooper shown early signs in the first week that he's a racing kid already? <laughs> Have you picked up on anything, Kyle, um, yet? <laughs> he, he likes, uh, I would say, likes being up late, so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that's uh, that's a good sign, but um, too early to tell. But uh, if, if it's in his it's in his genetics, so yeah. I mean it's, it's gotta it's gotta hopefully at least happen. This is the first time you have not been at the Expo Center in January in Tulsa in how many years now? When is the last time you were not in the Expo Center in Tulsa in January? Oh man, I mean it's gotta be I could, 19 I didn't know. years or is so, right? maybe close to 20. Because um, I mean I ran the shootout right. even before the Chili Bowl stuff, so. Um, long time but uh I'm, I'm excited to do something yeah. different and um just i've always kind of wanted to do something different yeah. in the last five years or so but i wanted to win the event too so uh finally won it and then uh said i was going to want it race it until i won and then race till i lost and then i lost <laughs> so now we're trying to do something different a lot was made of your chili bowl comments right but I, you and i've talked off camera and i think you hit on something there it was also as much about a change of scenery for you as it was about whatever your personal thoughts on the Chili Bowl were. Am I right in that? That's what I feel like is you just needed to see something different for the first time in two yeah. decades. Yeah, and two, I mean, if it wasn't for like Caitlin being pregnant and, and yeah. a, having a newborn, I may not even be racing here. You know, I, I wanted I want to go do other stuff. You know, whether it's go to the Bahamas or go skiing or, or something just yeah. during that week to uh, just to experience something different. But um, also too, I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'll be back at the Chili Bowl yeah. someday. So um, just again, wanted to do something different, and um, I, I've loved what they've done with this event over the last handful, well, 17 years, and uh, moving it to New Mexico here at Vado. Um, I, I think we all could see how the crowd was small last yeah. year, so I wanted to see if I could, you know, me coming help grow the event a little bit, and um, so we'll see if it makes a difference or not this week, but regardless, I'm, I'm just excited to get behind the wheel of a race car for, for six nights of racing, and also because I haven't raced at all this off season, so help get me... Uh, freshened up for the cup season. One thing that I love about you is you actually, you texted me on Christmas, it was Christmas day and you text me, what's on flow tonight? <laughs> One thing I love about you is you are a consumer of motorsport, right? You're not just a NASCAR champion. You, you We know this, us short track people. Uh, was Last year, I know you watched a lot of Wild West Shootout. I'd have to imagine sitting back, not only obviously, you said there's no denying it, the crowd wasn't good, but this racing was oh, unbelievable yeah. last year. Did that propel your participation in this this year to see how freaking good the racing was last year? Yeah, definitely. I think that was probably, that's probably what sparked it yeah. in the beginning, um, was just seeing how good the racing is. You know, I feel like this style of track typically would suit me. I've never raced here, but I would hope it suits me just the three-eighths kind of mile track, uh, progressive banking, that color dirt. So, um, and yeah, the racing was just amazing last year. So. I uh, wanted to be a part of it. I, I followed along with it all yeah. all week last year at Chili Bowl and uh, watching Donnie run. Yeah, um, yeah it kind of just got me thinking that you know, I wanted to come here and be a part of it. The facility itself kind of speaks for itself. I, I say top five facility in America oh, no probably. Doubt. I know you've kind of got to meet Royal Jones. He picked you up at the airport today. Yeah. Just first impressions when you look at this place. It is pretty spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you, I, I looked around a little bit and like, if I was to build a track from scratch, I don't know what I would do different. Yeah. You know, I mean, between the facility, the shape, the banking, everything. I mean, where it's where it's at, you want know, on a major you know, road right. where you can drive by and see it right. and, and be like, man, what's, what's going on over there? I'm gonna pull off the next exit and make a U-turn and go check it out. So, um, he did a really good job with it. He's he's such an ambassador for the sport. He has been for a very long time. So, um, super passionate about dirt track racing. So, yeah, love to be here. Love to uh, support the event and, and you know, add another new racetrack to my list. One of the many conversation topics you and I have a lot is sprint car racing versus late model racing. Your background in sprint car racing, my background in late model racing. Could can we do this in sprint car racing? Six nights, ten thousands to win, twenty five thousand dollar finale. What? Why couldn't we do this in sprint car racing? I mean, I we did do it uh, for heat, two or three right, years yeah. or whatever at Yuma, and um, 
it was like the same exact thing. Um, I remember it paid really well, yeah. 10 or 12 grand to win every night. Same amount of events, I believe, too. So it's been done, and I think, I think teams are more willing to race these days than they were back then. So uh, it's just all about, I think, finding the right place for it. Um, I think this, this place is great for it, too, but it's already got the late model, so I sure. feel like you, you wouldn't want to kind of flood the, the market too much. So. It's a shame that all the tracks are shutting down in Arizona because that's, I mean, the, the perfect place for, for racing this time of year between, you know, here and, and Arizona. So um, who knows, maybe someday down the road, a new track will open up and, and we can have some big events out there or, or wherever there might be some sunny weather. You and I have jokingly talked about building a racetrack in Arizona. I don't let's, know about joking. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just go on camera. Yeah. I, I would be happy to put a facility in feet. Let's talk about it, right? Yeah. It, I think it is a perfect place for a facility. I would love to be involved in something like that. You are a Phoenix resident now. We love having the Wild West shootout here, but maybe we have a big sprint car yeah. event at a new facility in Arizona in Phoenix. Why not, Kyle? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm all, I think I brought it up to you. You did. So, uh, yeah, I'm all for it. Um, it. Yeah, I mean, I loved Arizona Speedway. I, I loved, I've raced at a handful of tracks in Arizona. Yeah. Um, so it was a shame that Arizona Speedway shut down, but uh, you know, the new was kind of a little too far out. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Um, so I don't know, I, w I would, you're the brains. I mean, you're the, oh. you're the promoter. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got all the experience. So I'm just a driver. We're recording so. that, right? I want to make so sure you, we go. Uh, <laughs> you got you that. come to me with all the ideas, and I'll and I'll probably support it. Um, last couple things. 2020 the pandemic year. You had what arguably is the greatest. Uh, Jonathan might argue after his two million last year, the greatest dirt track season of all time. Mm -hmm. 2021, you go on to win the Cup championship. I am far from saying that 2022 was a down year, but by your standards, after the two years before it, it wasn't 20 or 21. Am I okay to say that, number one? And number two, do you feel a little hunger to bounce back in 22 after not winning prolifically like you did in, or in 23, like you did in 21 and 22? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I still won 20 races, I think, in 2022, but I raced a lot more. So my win percentage was yeah. not, as, not the same as what it was probably the last five years. So definitely a down year. I mean, I still... I ran second, I think, like 18 or 19 yeah. more times. So uh, it still was a good year. Just I didn't win as much. So um, it's tough to, to back up what you – I didn't think in 21 I could do what I did in 20. Yeah. And, I, and arguably was a better year then than, than 2020. So um, it's hard to, to do it consecutive year after year after year. But um, mm -hmm. I race for great car owners, great crew chiefs. So I know the opportunity is there to do it. Just uh, – Got to make some less mistakes on my part, especially in the NASCAR stuff, and then um, even even the dirt stuff too. So um, try to try to do what I've done before, but it's it's tough. Quick temperature check on High Limit. How you feeling about High Limit? How is you and Brad's mood about everything? It's gonna be a big year, but I want your feeling. Temperature check as we roll into January. How you feel about the new series? I'm excited about it. Uh, I can't wait for for the first event there at Lakeside. Um, starting off with 50,000 <laughs> win. Uh, having Justin Marks and Shane Stewart involved, it kind of you know coming full circle with the three of us is uh, pretty neat. Um, I'm super pumped about our schedule and the tracks yeah. that we have. Um, and and too, I mean it's obviously like a carbon copy of your guys' stuff for the late models, but um, introducing it to sprint cars yeah. and going to different racetracks too yeah. is fun and, and a lot of exciting places. So I know a lot of the teams are really excited. Um, you know what the Outlaws did, it, it helped some teams a little bit to, to get to run some. So um, excited about that. And uh, I know a lot of the fans too are really, really excited about it. I'm sure, I know we're gonna have big crowds at the majority of the events, but I'm, I know the, the viewership on Flow is gonna be huge. So um, excited about all of it. And, and I think the sport in general needs you know, some midweek kind of racing where, where late models I feel like have thrived the last yeah. few years because of midweek stuff. So um, get some more midweek shows, big paying midweek shows should be good.